a little light snow on tap. Across the southern U.S., this doesn't look that impressive yet. Of course, the system moving on could dump some heavier amounts of rainfall latter part of the day. This just gets us through about the mid-morning, putting a chance of some rain toward Shreveport, Little Rock, and even around Memphis. As far as the Midwest goes, we talked about the problems of the freezing precip, more freezing drizzle. Don't expect major accumulation out of that, though. Across the upper Midwest, looking at the snowfall, three to six inch category there. Traverse City and Petoskey. We'll notice this, some in toward Marquette, too. As far as the western U.S. goes, there's some of the heavier snowfall here. Parts of Wyoming, a bit of Utah, a little light snow to Utah's Dixie, but some heavier snow throughout Idaho. Some snow to the Sierra. Those in the northern looks a bit heavier than some of the southern part. But a bit north of the bay, we'll pick up some of the rain here in the half inch or greater range. Beyond the latter part of the day, maybe a few scattered showers in towards Seattle, but a little wet for the northwest and might scoot a few sprinkles, at least in toward the L.A. Basin, on a little bit later. As far as the wind, well, a little wind across the Midwest and some across parts of the Southland and upstate New York. Gulf Coast looks a bit foggy, and the fog, of course, that low-lying cloud hovering close to the surface there, those water droplets, when they stick to something, they land like on the roadway. You get that cold air in place, makes for a slippery situation. Here's our Wednesday morning, looking at the rainfall again for the west, the scattered problems of the, the wintry weather, at least the freezing precipitation across parts of Kansas. Along the Southland, too, expect to see a few showers and storms, midday hours and beyond. High pressure holds on for the northeast and midwest, just delivering a potent punch of very cool air. Here's precipitation coast to coast, again, heaviest across parts of California. Here's a look at the warmth, where we can find it. Honestly, where we can into our day on Wednesday. Coming up, we'll take a look at all the active weather coast to coast and specifically its impact on travel, that is, travel wise, which comes up next after some extended forecasts for cities all across the U.S.